Dare Jing 34 The great Tao flows everywhere. All things are born from it, yet it doesn't create them. It pours itself into its work, yet it makes no claim. It nourishes infinite worlds, yet it doesn't hold on to them. Since it is merged with all things and hidden in their hearts, it can be called humble. Since all things vanish into it, and it alone endures, it can be called great. It isn't aware of its greatness. Thus it is truly great. Great Tao is like a flood. It can flow left and right. The 10,000 creatures depend on it for life. It doesn't reject them. It completes its task but takes no name. It clothes and supports the 10,000 creatures but it's not their master. Having no desire, it can be called insignificant. The 10,000 creatures return but it is not their master. It can be called great. In the end, it doesn't make itself great. And so it achieves greatness. So again, you know, the Tao flows everywhere like water indiscriminately. Uh, just filling things up as it as it goes it fills the water fills things up and then flows onward it flows to the lowest place fills it up and then flows onward pretty much the same thing with the towel the towel uh, is it nourishing things creating worlds pouring itself into its work you know it's likeness is like water you know it doesn't have to try it's nourishing without trying so and in, in, in not trying it's flowing indiscriminately so life flows back fully and completely because it's allowing the the flow fully and completely so it's nourishing things and not it's not um laying claim to things it creates things it doesn't lay claim to them like over here you know it it completes things but it takes no name it's just like you know uh the creator itself you know the likeness itself it you know the, the likeness of the the creator you know there's no signature in the sunset there's no signature on the signature is in the pattern there's no signature of a name. The pattern is the mark. The pattern is the actual signature. So the Tao is, you know, the pattern maker. It's not the pattern itself. It's what's making the pattern. So um, in that, since it's not the pattern itself, it can endure. And it's the common denominator of all things. That's why I was saying it's, uh, it's humble. You know, it can be merged with all things. It's hidden in their hearts. It's humble, so that means it's it's primal. It's primal. It's the one. It's the common denominator. It's the common ground of all things. All things vanish into it, and it, it alone endures. So everything else is particular, and it's eternal in its own right, but it it has to return to its source. And so that source is the only thing that's enduring forever. It's like if you if your body were to die... Your body is what stores the memories. So since if your body's dying, the only thing that will endure and have recollection of the death of the body would be the, the observer, the driver of the body, you, the Tao. So since all things vanish into it and it alone endures, it's enduring life and is enduring death. So it's, you know, it's not aware of its greatness, so it's truly great. Being aware of it is knowing. Knowing takes you out of the moment. And then you fail to be and fulfill, you know, the, the space that is yours, which is your body, not fully inhabiting your body. So you're not fully in the moment. So, it, you know, if you're not, if you're knowing that you're great, then you're not being great. It's a difference. So it's like, again, it says it doesn't make itself great. So it achieves greatness. Greatness is just a byproduct of being, of being, of being totally who you are. So again, you're having no desire. You can be called insignificant. But that's just, you know, the water doesn't have a desire to nourish. It just is what it is. And, you know, things are nourished by it. It doesn't, it doesn't have to try. So it can be, you know, it's taken, it's inconsiderate. It's the same thing with the breath. It's, it's in, I mean, insignificant. Same thing with the breath. Like, it's, uh, it's sublime.